And then when you want to get into the amygdala and the hippocampus and where trauma is stored. So you have a brain that's got no pause, poor rational decision-making skills, and you got trauma that's in fight or flight mode all the time, bro, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. That's the science. So, so true. the good news is if you remain abstinent and you do other things, you you reconnect new neural pathways. So the pray in the morning, pray at night thing, the go to the meeting, the call your sponsor, the go to therapy, the go to church, the go to the gym, the breathing, the mindfulness, whatever else you can do besides run, shoot heroin, smoke crack, and punch people, yeah. you literally rewire your brain. And now, today, I can say I have a pretty good functional prefrontal cortex. I can't be in a 10-month rehab again for my ACL. And, I, you know, and so that's the hope shot. The good news is if you do this weird stuff that makes no sense, you'll give your brain a chance to heal. But more importantly, you'll go inside and solve the problems. I created a life I no longer want to escape from. Yeah. That's the real solution.